why say yes to being here in ARF? Why is that important to you? Because of my long-standing friendship with Tony La Russa, two nights ago I was in New York for my friend Joe Torrey and his Safe at Home Foundation. They're both worthy causes, so if you can work it into your schedule, why not? And it's fun. It turns out to be fun. I mean, I'm not as much of an animal person as Tony and Elaine, but everybody has a soft spot for an adorable animal, plus the idea that service dogs are so helpful to vets who need our help, many of whom are in crisis. Um, it's pretty hard to turn your back on that. It's touching. He's passionate about it. It brings chills to you when you see what he accomplishes. And he's driven by it. He wants to see it succeed and do anything he can. But when he also talks about it, he doesn't like when too much acclaim is put on him. He likes it to be the team. And so uh, what he does, and he puts it in just like if it was a baseball team, in a sense, to be successful as he possibly can. And he has very few passions. But when he does it, he does it full blast. And that's what he does with pets and vets and, and ARF. Tony is a living ARF, just in case you don't know. I mean, <laughs> he's got 14 or 15 animals in his own home. Right. Pets are as beautiful a friend, as loyal a friend as you can have. You could have the toughest day. You come home to your pet, and all of a sudden, it's not that bad. And, you know, and then he's put together the military with animals. Um, and when you listen at the testimony of, of some of the people that have served our country that come back home with unexplainable experiences that are difficult to talk about and their companionship with their pets, I mean, what more is there to say? Pets of Vets is, uh, is amazing. Of course, we uh, soldiers do so much for us and protect, uh, protect our freedom that we live here and here. So, um, you know, when they come home and they have some issues, and uh, this is a great program to help them um, get over some of their problems. And um, so I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. This is something that he started back in Oakland years ago when we were there together. When and the cat ran on the that's field. That's right, exactly. And I'll never forget that night. But he... Uh, he and his wife Elaine have been very, very dedicated to this. And it's just, I mean, if, if you, I think if you've been out to his facility, I mean, yeah. it's, it's just amazing. The money they've raised, the, the $10 million they got for, and more for this new building they're building for uh, the, the vets, you know, the vet, veterinarian, or the veterans, uh, uh, veterans of war. And just, he's so good at what he does, and I think, uh, um, it just you, you see the turnout, you see the people he has coming to this event. It's, it's, it's amazing. But that's the perspective he has from people. What impresses you about what he's doing with ARF? Well, this is a way of serving the military, a specific problem, post-traumatic stress sy syndrome, the reintegration of veterans back into society, and particularly the problem that is persisting of suicides among veterans. And Tony loves animals, he loves the military, he loves vets, it all comes together. Why do you want to stay involved? Help Tony. Enough said? That's enough said. Why is it important to you to be here? Because if I didn't come here, he would, he would call me names <laughs> and he would make me feel guilty. <laughs> No, well, I'm here for two reasons. One is I love Tony La Russa. He's really saving the lives of, 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 of the veterans and the, and the older people who need this companionship. And that's why I find that, you know, a cause really worth supporting. He's passionate and he's imaginative. Uh, you know, he has the pets for vets at both ends of the leash. And he's been doing it for close to 30 years now. Um, I admire his passion for it, continues to have that that, that really grinding passion for it. And, you know, you look around, you know, when he has an event, there are a lot of people that show up. There are a lot of people that show up, and a lot of people raise their hands, you know, we're gonna donate. Um, you know, as I say, pets are part of the family, and I think we all wanna take care of them. I know you've been involved with PETA over the years. Um, what's made you decide to support ARF? I've always been a fan of Tony. You know, he's just the coolest dude in the world. I'm, I'm an animal av advocate. So I believe that me being involved, I thought it was a great idea for rescues. Um, and I think the vets are, uh, the PTSD, PTSD is, is, is real. And I think this helps. It, it saves an animal's life and it saves a human's life. And if I could be involved in that, then that's what I want to do. When I found out just how many veterans he's been able to pair with an animal that first can become just a companion, just somebody you need, and later potentially can become a service dog, 
to me, that's a, almost the ultimate idea of caring not just for veterans, but also for pets. I think all of us need a friend. And if you think about what a pet can be, you know, a pet's the person that always loves you. What I've seen on a number of occasions is where veterans that were really suffering from PTS uh, and, you know, almost to the point where they were suicidal. And I've actually seen it on a number of occasions where pets have helped these uh, soldiers through very, very difficult times. So supporting the Pets and Vets program and being able to invest in pets for our veterans, particularly those that are struggling, I think is uh, terrific.